Police and construction union members clashed in central Melbourne this morning. The confrontation came as police attempted to break a week-long picket at a building site. The CFMEU in Victoria say the Grocon company is refusing to allow union banners on its site and the union wants the right to appoint safety officials. But the company says its workforce, not the union, should appoint the officials. Hamish Fitzsimmons was there for late line. It was reminiscent of the bad old days of the Builders Labourers Federation a generation ago. We want to be able to still hold the line because we don't know what the enemy's going to be doing. Hundreds of members of the Victorian Construction Union blockaded a city building site of the Grocon Company. Today we asked the police to give us some assistance in getting our employees into, our, into the site because our employees actually want to work and want to get into the site. Uh, and it met with the graphic pictures that we've all seen today. There were no arrests, but police did use capsicum spray and horses were used to try and break the picket line. It's not good that uh, that occurs, that horses are punched, if in fact they were. I, haven't, I have been told that that did occur, but um, that's, you know, that's pretty poor if that's what we're resorting to. The violence this morning, I've got to say that, the, that I've had meetings this morning with the Victorian police, the, the police. They are saying that this is the most disciplined rally in the way construction workers have behaved themselves in 20 years. There was no violence here this morning. The dispute is over union demands to appoint shop stewards and safety officials and allow members to display union branding on Grocon sites. The company says it pays the officials wages so they should be appointed by its workforce. We're very, very close with our workforce. Safety is paramount and I think at the end of the day our terms and conditions are exactly where the rest of the industry are, if not higher. For decades under the Grollo family, Grocon was known in Victoria for harmonious relations with militant building unions. Daniel Grollo insists he's taking the same approach as his father. I've been CEO for more than 10 years. I, I can guarantee there's no difference in the organisation, its strategy, its, its key management individuals are the same in this area of the business. Uh, I think that you'll find that this might be a change of heart from the CFMEU in terms of who's leading the CFMEU. Despite the chaotic scenes down here this morning, this seems to be a carefully staged managed event. All the union members are under strict instructions not to talk to the media and a prominent media relations company is handling the whole affair. OK, is everybody right? Bill Oliver, State Secretary. All right, thank you for everyone turning up here this morning. And what we've seen here this morning is Daniel Grolo's industrial relations. This is what he wants for every Victorian construction worker, violence and thuggery on building sites. Talks initiated by the Federal Workplace Relations Minister have so far failed to break the impasse. Both sides uh, feel very strongly. My position now is completely uh, clear. Unlawful action cannot be tolerated from whatever quarter it comes from. Violence is completely unacceptable in, um, in, the, in the modern day and age. It is critical that we re-establish the rule of law uh, in a tough industry uh, the best way to do that is via the Australian Building and Construction Commission and one of the first acts of an incoming coalition government in Canberra would be to restore the ABCC with full powers. The building industry does need some sort of efficient way to have decision make making made very quickly and enforced. And there's the difficult point. Argument over the legality of the blockade will return to the Victorian Supreme Court on Monday. Hamish Fitzsimmons, Late Line.